All right, guys, we got a bit of a weird one here. This is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles replica um, from AliExpress, and I'm going to call it the Teenage Mutant Janky Turtle because uh, there's some stuff going on with this. Um, it's 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 kind of humorous. Uh, let's let's get right into it. Take the box. I don't know if you'll notice a few things about this box, other than the fact that you know AliExpress. Let's 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 get rid of that. AliExpress doesn't really like to send me stuff that's not destroyed uh, so uh, we can't really expect anything different um, take a look at that box real quick though you know what do you what do you notice here yeah it says teen ant mutant nina turtles michelangelo um it's kind of a a, a fancy fancy name isn't it now uh, there's the box side and then you'll notice here it says teenage mutant ninja turtles so I, I don't know, just pick one, either be a bootleg or don't. Um, Teen Ant Mutant Nina Turtles. So <laughs> I'm finding that pretty, pretty humorous. And then the figure inside already looks a little janky. This is my first um, Ninja Turtles bootleg. Uh, there it is. I do have uh, a Donatello and a Raphael coming eventually, but uh, we'll just take a look at this one. And um, hopefully they look a little better than this one. So if this guy is even slightly decent it is definitely worth it because the original um, movie teenage mutant ninja turtles are crazy expensive um, let's take a look at the accessories which like i mean I, I think i paid 16 bucks for this guy and these accessories might be worth that i am super excited for this little pizza um we're gonna be able to use that for all sorts of stuff uh this is detail great Nah, it's not too super great, but um, you know the paint app's a little bit off, but uh, not really going to be that noticeable when you put it on other things. Next, we've got two nunchucks. Uh, they look pretty basic. Um, I can't say because I've never had one of the originals, but um, tell me if, if any of this stuff is similar to what it comes with. Uh, it's it's there. It's got a pliable thing here, but it's always going to spring back. Um, we get two of those. So um, yeah, he's got to have his weapons, right? He comes with a alternate bandana back that you're going to uh, pop that off of there and pop that new one on. That is a welcome accessory, perfect. And then let's take a look at the two hands that it comes with. It comes with a thumbs up and the paint app you can clearly see is <laughs> on the fingernails is, is not great. Um, you might just have to paint his nails in the future. Um, so that's that's okay and again we've got another is this the same nope we've just got a an alternate thumbs up hand now the app paint app looks a little bit better on this one um much much more impressed by this the sculpt is fine i think uh we do have like a a line right there a, a mold line um I'm not too worried about that now let's get into the figure now this is where it gets a little janky you can see that his bandana does not line up it has some gapping there now i'm hoping that i can peel that off let's just, just try to see what we can do yeah that, that comes off fairly easy and is quite disturbing <laughs> yeah it comes off really easy it's just pegged on there so that's not going to be an issue we can pop that back on and it is now straight so no worries there the eyes in there they're fine i guess um, take a look at the other details, okay? That head sculpt. Yeah, see, I don't know what it's supposed to look like. So um, we've definitely got some some uh, warping in the shell right here. I'm hoping with a little bit of heat that will kind of go down. A little bit janky. Take a look at that shell. Uh, I don't know. It seems like, is there a little bit of misshapenness here? Or is that the way it's supposed to be? Can't really tell, but there's okay detail there. A uh, little scuff mark right there you can see the arms is where it gets a little bit janky i feel like these things here are they supposed to move around because they definitely do i don't know that they hide that joint as well as they were hoping a um, little bit loose in that arm and right here we've got some printing printing on that um elbow pad like i said you can walk it right around because it's uh it's, it's it's loose and i don't know that it's supposed to be coming on down couple of janky paint apps here would have really liked it if they painted that buckle right there um, that is not no it's not gonna move move that arm out and that's how the side looks 
It honestly doesn't look terrible, but I think when we get into the articulation, that's when we're gonna really find how cheap this thing is. But you know, we're okay there. This is a really weird freaking joint where I think you're gonna try to hide it with, with that, but it's not gonna, again, it does move those knee pads and again we do have okay now I thought that that was printing but apparently those are buckles um, it just didn't look very good because we do have it down here as well so it's intentional yeah and it is on this arm as well um, they just don't look great that's all they just don't look great coming down like, the, like I said, the details are okay. Uh, it does seem very loose. But let's get into the articulation and I feel like this is where we're gonna really, really see how cheap this thing is. Um, his head, he, he is tilted quite a bit forward. There's no neck joint there, but you get a lot of down. You get a decent amount of up. You can go sideways. Yeah, you got some good head movement there, okay? I think this might be okay for posing. Um, I don't know, in that mouth, you see that little bit of red, I don't know whether that's intentional. Um, yeah, the paint apps are not great on this. So the arms. Now, trying to figure out these freaking arms. So this part here gets caught on that and you need to kind of push it down a bit um, and then you can get that arm up. Uh, this one here, see how this one seems like it's all the way back? This one seems like it's forced up so i don't know if that can be dealt with is there a butterfly there let's try to push it back a little bit but getting this arm up because this is so loose you kind of can't really grab it from there you gotta grab it from here yeah it's not it's not gonna move because you see how this one you push that under you push that under and it allows the arm to go up this guy is so out of place there's no way you're gonna get that under there um, I was really really hoping for better for this guy I don't know whether whether we can finagle it into into working properly uh, that's completely upside down you can see how how much of a gap there is in there oh my goodness yeah you can see I can see white so I'm stretching that plastic that's janky. All right, let's 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 focus on this arm. Okay, so we're we're gonna be able to go into a bit of a T pose, uh, but this joint here for the elbow looks like it is it double jointed. Let's try to find out. Okay, let's get that elbow in the right place, and then we're gonna put that up. It's it almost if it's double jointed, it's not acting like it's double jointed. That's about as far up as I can get that that arm. Um, it's gonna, and then we're gonna go there, turn that so that we can see how far. So he could cross his arms, if this arm was working properly, he could cross his arms pretty good. Eat that pizza, oh yeah. See, got a little bit of janky gapping there. So you're gonna wanna really move that pad around. Again, I don't know, is this the way the originals worked? Cause that doesn't look too bad. And then let's take a look at that hand. Yeah, see, that's a very loose joint. Take a look at that hand. It's 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 got some some decent articulation. I think we can turn that all the way around. Um, little ball joint in there by the looks. Is that a ball joint? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, the hands are decent. Okay, um, everything's a little bit loose, but you know, wow, he looks weird. Yeah, see, now this joint's doing that, and I've really got to finagle it down. What if I can do that with this? It is so awkward. Yeah, I'm not gonna get, be able to move that arm. So that's a bit of a downer. This is the Teenage Mutant Janky Turtle. I'm hoping the other ones are better. I might have to look for another one and see if I can get something with a better arm. Take a look at those legs. We're gonna go all the way forward like that. Still, I don't like the, the paint apps here, They're just terrible. But we can go back that far. Uh, that shell's really getting in the way. We've got a double jointed knee by the looks of it. Double jointed knee. That doesn't go too far back because it is really hindered by that um, knee pad and you really gotta move it around in order to get any anything out of that. 
Um, it, it is pegged. So you're not gonna get a ton. And, and for, a, for a ninja, I feel like you need more than that. Um, I feel like you, they're really, it's really dropped the ball on that. So let's go for the foot. Foots are very loose, but you get some really good range. Um, it is a very, very obvious gap in that foot. Um, it does swivel. Let's take a look at that other foot. F looks a little better, I think. Got some good range. All in all, though, uh, <laughs> I think that <laughs> he kind of looks like a like he's slouching a bunch, eh? It's, it's, it's kind of humorous. My, my, my Nina and me, what is it? My Nina turtle here is a little janky. Um, I, I was able to fix that, but this arm is not going to be fixable, I don't think. I think it is way too out of place and it will not go up. Um, this, you can see here, is, is a little janky. It's, I'm going to, I'm going to have to call this a, um, a humorous, a humorous fail uh, I still I do think that this shell is warped too because uh, it uh, maybe not maybe it's supposed to be like that I'll I'll use this guy every now and then but um, I'm gonna try to find something that's a little bit more suitable um, hopefully hopefully the other ones <laughs> that I ordered are not this bad um, I think this is actually qu quite funny and I only paid about 16 17 bucks for it yeah even that shoulder there is out of place so you got to really push down and get it under there to get it up so what do you say guys uh do we got a win here do we got a big old loss um 16 isn't too bad to lose out on but um take a look at those joints yeah see this this leg here doesn't want to go out quite as much as as the other one there we go it's just a little tight the first joint that's actually been tight um i want the original turtles so bad but i just got into figure collecting and it just it's just too much so I'm gonna have to find another bootleg that's a little bit better, I guess. Uh, maybe I can use some of the parts. I just noticed that the head is is uh, kind of on a, I don't know if it's on a rocker there, but it, uh, it does, you can push it forward and then back a little bit. And I'm sure that that helps a little bit with the uh, articulation. This head does look like it's a mask though, like, it, like in the original movie. So I'm actually okay with that. And the head movement is actually really good. So guys, I'm out 16 bucks on this one, I guess. <laughs> Maybe I can use them for parts or something like that. We'll see. Uh, I'm just super excited for the uh, pizza slice. I think I just paid 16 bucks for a pizza slice, guys. Um, let's let's see how easy it is to pop those hands on and off. There we go, hand on or hand off. That's tight, but it fits. Um, decent. Actually, you can see a little bit of whiting there, like it stretched it a little bit. Uh, a little bit of a nick right there. But he is now able to give you the thumbs up. So, you know, he's able to give you the thumbs up. Yeah, hands are very difficult to get on, but now he's giving you the double thumbs up. Or, let's be fair, the double thumbs down, guys. Let's try to do some articulation, or, or never mind, some, some posing with this guy. It's gonna be half-assed because this is not working. Oh my goodness, it's so funny. Take care, guys.